Hello viewers. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Learn English PK. Let's kick off our video lesson on active passive voice. Whether you're a language enthusiast or a student aiming to improve your writing, understanding the difference between active and passive voice is crucial. So, grab your virtual pen and let's dive in. We'll explore the fascinating world of active and passive voice. But first, what exactly are these voices and why do they matter? Imagine you're writing a thrilling detective novel. Would you rather say, the detective solved the case, this sentence is active voice or the case was solved by the detective? This is the example of passive voice. Let's unravel this mystery together. The term voice is a term that is used to denote the form of the verb which shows if the subject in a given sentence is the doer or receiver of the action. The voice of a verb describes the relationship between the action and the participants, subject or object in a sentence. There are two voices in the English language and they are as follows. Active voice passive voice. Let us look into the two voices a little in detail with the help of the meaning and definition. Active voice. In an active sentence, the subject performs the action. It's like the star of the show. Passive voice. Here, the subject receives the action. It's like the supporting actor. Still important, but less flashy. Let's dissect a sentence. The chef prepared a delicious meal. Who's the subject? The chef. What's the action? Preparing a meal. Active voice. Right? Now, let's flip it. Passive version. A delicious meal was prepared by the chef. Notice how the subject and verb positions switch. Let's have a look at when to use active voice. Active voice is direct, energetic, and keeps readers engaged. Passive voice, on the other hand, is sometimes handy, like when we want to emphasize the receiver of an action or hide the actor. In this context, we can say, The cake was eaten. Who ate it? Mystery. It is practice time now. Grab your notepad. We'll transform active sentences into passive and vice versa. The dog chased a cat dot dot it is an example of active voice. We can change it into passive voice by saying, a cat was chased by the dog. Remember, active voice adds zest to your writing. Remember, mastering active and passive voice will elevate your writing skills. So, stay tuned for more examples, exercises, and tips in our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Give your feedback in comment section.